Hello and welcome. This is Rufal Monger. And my friends, it's Tekken Trailer Day, and we got a new Tekken trailer for you. This time, the king of hype and excitement, everyone's favorite character, Shaheen. No? Anybody? No? Well, he, he's got his fans. Before we get into it, actually, way back at the original Tekken 7 launch, I'd play Shaheen for a little bit myself. Uh, mostly on the back, I just really like his leg kick. It's just very satisfying. It reminds me of Chong Li from Bloodsport specifically. But yeah, another week, another trailer. The last trailer before Christmas. If you were hoping for some Christmas bear action like I was with Kuma and Panda, sadly, not so much. I'm really excited for the bears now that uh, with the demo, you can fight against some people playing the bears and seeing some of the new things they can do. They're looking really cool. But yeah, no bears just yet. Shaheen though, we do have. And actually speaking of the demo, the demo itself, and if you are aware, uh, about a week and change ago, there was a press event showcasing the game. I wasn't invited, by the way. Not bitter at all. And at that event, they were saying this is the final build of the game. And this trailer is making a big fat liar out of them. Because Shaheen has like new animations, even uh, potentially an all new move, that were not in that build of the game at all. And also not in the demo either, when you fight him as an enemy in the demo. So it looks like they're making some changes, positive changes, mind you, right up till the last minute here. And well, as for Shaheen himself, he's got some sassy stuff in Tekken 8. Uh, his plot value may be a little bit light uh, compared to some of the other characters. We'll talk about it. But the actual like gameplay looks pretty all right, including some nasty stuff like guaranteed damage on a guard break. That's like literally trivial to set up. So that all said, let's get into it here. Let's rewind the trailer and start from the start. So everyone's got their title to start off the trailer, and he is the Desert Falcon. And his new look is pretty sharp. Maybe people don't find him the most exciting character, but he does look cool. So we find him on like the Jin Mind Palace stage, which is actually the third layer. So this crazy stage is layer one. If you do a stage transition, then we have layer two. And if you do a stage transition from here, then we wind up in the desert. All has to do with like Jin, Devil Jin stuff, I guess. So our first sequence here showcasing some of, well, Shaheen's agility, I guess. He's a very fast character. Or if we break it down in wrestling terms, he'd be a spot monkey. So we open up here, up forward one. So this is a giant leaping attack. And this also does chip damage and is advantage on block. So good opener to pressure, and we'll be coming back to this move later in the trailer. So after this with the advantage, bops Claudio with down forward 4-2. Cancels that into stealth step. That's his uh, mini dash stance. Stealth step four, which splats on counter hit, and then we get a follow up here with back four. Now we're gonna go into the, some of the silly stuff here. So we do a side step two, that's a low, that makes sense, but this guy. This is Shaheen's flash kick, for lack of a more elegant term. This is actually charge down, up, button, move. Charge moves are not unheard of in 3D fighters, but you know, definitely rarer. And uh, call for what it is, like a bit of like a Rashid tornado effect. He's a bit more like Rashid than not this time around. But yeah, we're going to see this again later in the trailer, and it's going to get really silly. And after that, we got a parry. Just auto follow up this time around and rips your ears off, it looks like. So now it looks like we got some confirmation. When you see this kind of dramatic flash on the screen specifically, this will drain all recoverable health. It's pretty easy to deal chip damage Tekken 8, but then again, admittedly, it's also pretty easy to recover it, right? You just got to hit people back. But uh, if you're going to steal all that gray life damage out anytime, if you have the right opportunity, that's kind of strong. Now, our next little sequence here, we got a fun little basic B and B combo off a of launcher and the launcher specifically. So down forward two here looks way different than it did in the original press build, the quote unquote final build, right? This looks a lot more dynamic. Looks like he's really like stepping into it. For reference, this is the press build and just looks like just super generic DF2. So the new one looks a lot better to say the least, in my opinion anyways. And we'll see a couple more examples of this later in the video as well. So after that, we go for stand three, canceled into stealth step, into stealth step three, and that's the big old surfboard into a tornado. And to follow up here, stealth step again, down forward one, three. So we keep on going with the train here. Our next sequence is interesting for a couple of reasons. One, the reanimated train again here. So while standing four, that is also reanimated. Looks better too. I'll run two, by the way, here on block. Does chip damage and his advantage on block. Then this crazy guy. 
A lot happens in this sequence. So remember up forward one from the beginning of the video here where he does the big leaping lunge punch? That is cancelable into a fake out. So you can see the animation begins the same, but you can cancel it out before it connects for various fake out reasons. Not the least of which, as a linear, slower move, you can see here Claudio, he's just stepping out of the way, right? So if you step out of the way and Shaheen committed to the move, you probably get a punish here. Well, the tables are going to be turned. Here he goes into his weird little mini step crouch stance and goes into the slide. And if slide connects, and it does, it puts you into another weird little animation. From here, it's just two and bops the enemy. Now here we get our lore moment and uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny, honestly. So Shaheen, he'll keep talking in the trailer about my friend, my dear friend, right? And we'll get to that in a second, but um, what's Kazuya's reaction to tell me everything you know about my friend's death? Kazuya's just like, what? Who? And also, who are you? I don't know you at all. I'm fed up. So apparently this friend he's talking about was uh, someone he saved back in the day. And well, Kazuya, or at least Kazuya's orders had him killed. And he's the head of an oil company. I'm not feeling too bad for you, honestly. Either way, Kazuya could not possibly care less. And the lesson here is it's okay to take revenge against Kazuya, but characters who want revenge against Jin are not allowed because they ruin the narrative. Jin's a special boy after all. Our next sequence here for combos, we get to see some heat action here and go into our heat smash. So we start off here, just four to three goes over the low. It's a low crush and a good way to show it's a low crush is going over a hell sweep for sure. Splats on counter hit, follow up here is down back three, four, tornado into a launch and then heat burst and then stealth step, heat smash. So he has two heat smashes, one regular, one from the stealth step. Options are always handy to have. Next up here, Shaheen blocks the 1-1-2, back 3-4, big boot to the face, and is a heat engager. And here's where the comedy begins. So we talked about the quote-unquote flash kick style move earlier in the trailer, right? So in heat, it becomes a guard break. It's kind of faint, but you can notice some glass break effects there, right? That means it's a guard break. So however plus on block you are, if you have a move that's faster than that, it's guaranteed. Enter forward back two, which is now guaranteed because of the uh, guard break there, right? So that's really funny. Also, you notice there's some blue sparklies there. So there's a just frame version or something akin to it. My understanding though is if you're in heat, which you are here, uh, the blue spark version is always going to happen. It's always going to be a guarantee. So when you get hit by a heat engager, you know, you're plus a billion, right? It's scary to hit buttons or try to do anything. So you're going to be defensive. And Shaheen can go right into a guard break move out of the gate and break you open for free. So yeah, since this is such an easy setup, that means you're gonna have to start taking some risks. And of course, there's counterplay to that and you probably do a lot more damage than this guaranteed damage if you take a risk, right? So have fun against Shaheen in heat mode. It's gonna be something silly. Now going for next already in heat mode, we have stealth step one plus two, big double chop, heat dash cancel. Quick little bop into another stealth step, into stealth step one, also reanimated. Forward two, three is next here, goes into a tornado flip. And then really going into what we were talking about before earlier, this guy. Maybe full crouch move? This is not in the move list in the press build, the quote unquote final build. You will not find this move anywhere there. I highly doubt this is wall standing two because the other moves that are reanimated, they still have the same spirit of the move. Wall standing two is like a big elbow. But once again, to me, this just says they're making changes to Tekken 8, like right to the finish line. And then we get some surfboard action here. Uh, notice it stays same side this time. We already burned the tornado earlier in the combo, right? So now there's no tornado for this move to do. So after he just uh, surfs up, hangs 10 on your corpse, he just goes and stays the same side. And then finally, you know how this goes, right? So old hop kick bops Kazooie in the head and it's rage art time. So the Shaheen rage art sort of defies gravity. Like you can do silly things in these, right? Like once again, here's the old surfboard, uh, a lot of wind powers, not beating the Rashid allegations here. Talking to Kazuya, like Kazuya still even knows who he is, flips him off and then somehow backflips while he was already in the air. What? Going for a big dive kick. And then, well, that is the trailer. Cool sword. That's his dear friend sword, by the way. And he doesn't use it. It'd probably be smart if he did. A lot of people are using weapons this time around in Tekken 8. 
And that's, well, the trailer. So kind of running back to the beginning of this, Shaheen is not a lot of people's favorite character. Uh, a lot of people consider him kind of vanilla, and especially considering how wild a lot of the cast, even the returning cast is getting in Tekken 8 with all sorts of like guns and lasers and stuff. Maybe he is a little bit more vanilla compared to that, but you know what? He's got his own flavor and stuff like uh, the flash kick, uh, especially in heat mode where it's very seemingly trivial to guard break you with very little setup. Stuff like that will definitely be working in his favor and hopefully winning him some new fans. And you know what? Just like I said at the beginning of the trailer, he still kicks people in the leg really cool. So maybe when he fights Kazuya, he can kick his leg out of his leg. But yeah, on the trailer front, there's not many more of these left. We're actually about a month and uh, change away from the launch of Tekken 8, right? Uh, we have Lee, Alyssa, Zafina, Devil Jin, and the Bears. And then that's it. So uh, we're getting near the end of this and we're getting very close to proper launch. And of course, when launch comes, make sure to keep tuned into the channel because I'll definitely have all sorts of guides, videos, strategies, all that kind of fun stuff for you. But until then, we're at the end of the video. So that all said, thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well and go out and play some tag in.